Hello guys, I should game plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. And before anything, I just want to tell you that I've been away, kind of away for some for a few days because I was kind of having issues with my stomach, like like kind of a stomach ache. <laughs> I wasn't that that okay to record, but uh, but still I have been doing some kind of info uh, or some kind of well benchmarking in the background. So don't worry, more tests will come. Like for example, the 40 games tested in 2023 with a 6750 XT. Uh, okay, so many things are coming, and now we have this new video with a review of the new adrenaline drivers 23.8.2. And as I say in all my videos, 23 is the year 2023, 8 is the month August and two is the revision in that same month, so the second revision of August. And these drivers are like the Starfield, uh, Starfield Day 1 drivers on the AMD side, because for the premium users of Starfield, the game is available today. Okay, for the normal us users, it will be available in like five days or something like that. But uh, alongside the 7700 XT and 7800 XT, I believe. But for the premium users, once again, the game is available today. Hence the Day 1 drivers. Starfield also seems to be very heavy, uh, mostly for the mid-tier GPUs of this and the previous generation, even running them at 1080p low uh, might be actually frustrating and infuriating to some of those GPU users because the game the game looks great, obviously, but it is still very heavy. I, I saw just some gameplays online, I still don't have the game, I will, of course, but I, I just don't have the game yet, um, but well, I guess it is what it is. Now let's start with the release notes, but before, a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Maximum Settings, a cloud-based gaming service where you won't need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your PC or a personal nuclear plant to boot up your system. Just do it! And for as low as 9.95 Canadian dollars a month, you can play the most recent games on your computer, even if your hardware isn't prepared. And if you don't play that much, well, you can just use the hourly system for as little as 0.35 Canadian dollars. Sign up today for your full Linux gaming PC with no resource sharing and start enjoying high-level gaming on any PC. Now, finally, for the release notes. Firstly, we have highlights with support for Starfield with up to 16% performance increase for Starfield 4K using the AMD Adrenaline software 23.8.2 on the Raiden RX 7900 XTX versus the previous software 23.8.1 and let me tell you that 16% is a lot, even more at 4K, and up to 16% increase in performance for Starfield 4K once again using the 23.8.2 drivers on the RX 7900 XT. So once again up to 16% performance versus the previous driver, so if you're playing Starfield make sure at least with a 7900 series make sure to update to the 23.8.2 drivers because the performance increases are there. And by the way versus the previous ones, in my opinion, well I found some things with this driver but in my opinion, uh, they're quite fine actually, they're quite fine. As for the fixed issues, we only have one fixed issue, which is application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Baldur's Gate 3 with RX 11 API set on certain systems with the Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs. And this was an issue presented in the um, in the previous driver version, and it seems that it's that it is fixed now with RX 11 actually crashing in some scenarios. I didn't play much of Baldur's Gate 3 because I already bought it like two days ago. I didn't play much, uh, but I was using Vulcan and the game was running perfectly fine. Um, I didn't try the X11. Maybe I'll have problems with Vulcan in the uh, in the later parts of the game. I don't really know, but. If the X11 is better somehow and if you were having crashes it seems that, or if you were having crashes it seems that the X11 crashes are now fixed. So if the, those crashes are actually fixed for you, leave a comment in the comment section letting me know your experience. But as always we also have some known issues, which is normal. The first one is performance metrics overlay may report NA for FPS on various games, one of the known issues that has been presented for several driver versions. Audio may intermittently become out of sync with video when recording AMD software adrenaline edition with AV1 codec. Once again, an issue that has been presented for several driver versions. I believe it was since the 
the 23.7.1 I believe it was not that great yeah sadly so if you're having issues with recording with AV1 or if you're having issues for example with some shader cache loading I advise you to keep using the 23.5.2 drivers and the last known issue is display may not reach correct brightness with certain games on select Samsung FreeSync Premium Pro monitors or TVs with local dimming setting enabled so if you're using local dimming settings on some Samsung monitors well you might have some issues otherwise you're fine but this time we also have one important note about Starfield AMD is working with the game developers of Starfield to resolve an intermittent driver timeout or visual corruption issue when dynamic resolution is set to 75 to 78 percent with certain ultra wide monitors users experience this issue should adjust the dynamic resolution option as a temporary workaround so this means that if you're having dynamic resolution um, and you're having some driver timeouts or some crashes or maybe like they say some visual corruption issues then you know it is due to the dynamic resolution keep using for example uh, FSR I don't really know if this counts as dynamic resolution because it just renders one resolution so I guess not but if you're using dynamic resolution well just don't use FSR instead if of course at least if you're having driver timeouts and so on so that's a nice thing to know for Starfield players. And basically that's it for the known issues and for the fixed issues. As for my experience with these drivers, well, the 23.8.2 are actually quite good. Although there are some quirks. For example, one thing that I noticed is that I was crashing when enabling my, my previous profiles of the, of the previous driver version. So it doesn't mean that the OC profile is not, is not stable on the, on the newest version, but I did have to recreate the profile so and after I did that I just apply the profile and it was flawless uh, when I was trying to actually load the profile of the previous versions it would immediately crash and made me restart the computer force restart the computer so if you're having issues it's not your overclocking profiles it's just that well it is but it is not that the overclocking settings are not stable it is just that you need to recreate the OC profiles okay that's, that's it, it. Also, I noticed that we do have better performance, for example, versus the 23.7.2 drivers with the 7900 XTX. We do have better performance in Immortals of Avium, but that game is pretty poorly optimized, really badly optimized, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, and basically I wouldn't care much because the performance increase is not that much, but it is there at least versus the 23.7.2 versions. Also, we still have some issues and uh, two issues that I found is that the Windows resizing problem, the window resizing problem of the Radeon settings is still not fixed. After you resize the, the window, it will be fine. But as soon as you, for, let's say, restart the computer, the window will automatically shrink itself uh, to a really annoying small size. Once you restart the computer or go into another application with a different resolution, things start getting bad once again. And it keeps shrinking itself and it's annoying as hell. And like I told you before, it makes me want to punch through the monitor because it's really, really annoying. It has been happening since the 23.7.1, I believe. Okay, fix, fix it. it. And the last bug that I found actually has to do with, um, with the shader cache loading once again. And after the 23.7.1 drivers, I believe that um, the X9, 10 and 11 optimizations came for after like one year or two years, no, one year, they came to the to the RX 5000 series GPUs once again, so things are a bit messy overall, and they actually messed with the 6000 and 7000 series, because as you go, for example, to the 23.5.2 drivers, uh, the X11 games perform really smoothly because the shader cache is loaded before, and it works fine. As you go into the 23.7.1 drivers and above, uh, the shader cache loading will load on the hour and you'll have massive stutters for the first time you're running in that same scenario. If you go uh, and you pass there once again for the second time, there will be no stutters. But the first time you're running in that scenario, while the shader cache is loading, you'll have massive stutters and it is annoying as hell. Thing that did not happen before. So AMD needs to fix this because the, the most recent drivers in most the X11, um, in, in most the X11 games and God of War is one of those that you can clearly see it. Uh, the stutters are really, really annoying and people actually need to go back to the 23.5.2 drivers in order to be able to play those titles. And it makes absolutely no sense. 
And yeah, guys, this is a really small video because the drivers are just, uh, well, are just basically Starfield drivers, so they don't bring many, many new things. That's it. As always, leave your comment in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And once again, leave your comment in the comment section once again, because it's very important. Like I told you, like I told you before, and like I tell you in all these videos, the reason I make these videos is for us as a community to grow, uh, to grow as a community, to grow as people. So leave your comment in the comment section telling us and telling me your experience with these drivers, if they're good, if they're not, even more for AMD to see, because I do believe that they see some of the comments and they try to fix some of the issues. So that's a pretty nice thing. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Cheers. Members of the Resistance, report to your nearest intake facility immediately. We promise nothing nefarious will befall you. We promise. Resistance members. Report to the VIP section of your nearest intake facility for compulsory behavioral modification. It will be fun. Fun. Shit, man, I'm